This is a big uh, election year in America. Now, well, you guys don't have a president here, do you? What do you have? A, a, a prime minister. Is that better than a president? <laughs> Mixed reviews. Can a prime minister get his dick sucked? I say, yeah, huh? <laughs> hmm? Presidents, boy, they got character flaws out the yin yang. <laughs> this year we got George Bush Jr. running. This guy, you know, his character flaw is just coming out. He, I don't know if you guys noticed, that guy has sniffed cocaine. They found this out. <laughs> you can't have that in the White House now. I'm not saying he sniffs cocaine anymore, but if he relapses, we're gonna be in a lot of fucking trouble. I'll tell you that. Right. <laughs> we're gonna be selling nuclear secrets for twenty, thirty dollars and shit. Start embarrassing America in meetings. Come on, sign a treaty, baby. I'll suck your dick like what? <laughs> Mr. President, this is not how we do business here, sir. Stop sucking the prime minister's dick. <laughs> no, let him finish. <laughs> That's how you get a free trade agreement, I guess. Clinton did it the better way. Clinton, you know, he did, you know. You guys know Clinton, you know, he got away with it. Of course he got away with it. You can't be mad at that. <laughs> I was like, this guy's crazy. Bill Clinton is actually crazy. He got away with it. But it wasn't like we didn't know he was lying, did we? And he made the news good. Who wasn't watching the news? I, I was glued to the TV. I was taping the news and shit. I wouldn't miss a day. I was watching 60 Minutes. They always had a different girl come out accusing Clinton. Remember Kathleen Willey came out all distraught on 60 Minutes? The president called me into his office. He began, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he began massaging my breast slowly. And then he placed my hand on his genitals. Ed Bradley was shocked. <gasps> was he aroused? <laughs> I was at home like, yeah, was he aroused? <laughs> then Ed Bradley looked right in the camera. He said, don't bust that nut yet. We'll be right back. <laughs> With more 60 Minutes. Guy was crazy. But there was no victims, was there? Sometimes I feel a little bad for Lewinsky. Does anyone feel bad for her at all? Three people. <laughs> Three people. Come on, have a heart, man. That's a hard thing to be famous for. Nobody wants to be the most famous cocksucker of all time. That's terrible. She was young, she made a mistake. And it was one little incident that's gonna haunt her for the rest of her life. Just one dick is going to haunt her <laughs> for the rest of her life. I mean, come on, I think there's a few women in here with at least one dick they regret. <laughs> and I bet you it wasn't a presence either. <laughs> Everybody wants to judge her. I think that I, they gave me dreams again. I, I thought I couldn't be president. <laughs> and apparently you can do anything. I'd be a great president. The only thing that holds me back is that I'm black. Somebody's gonna wanna hurt me. Nobody will hurt me just because I'm black. I think nobody would touch me because uh, my vice president will be Mexican for a little insurance. <laughs> You can shoot me if you want, but you're just gonna open the border up, so. You might as well leave me and Vice President Santiago to our own devices. Ain't that right, Santiago? See, si, see. Si. You guys enjoy the rest of your night and the rest of your weekend. God bless you all. Good night, everybody, good night.